Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. For today's video, I thought, right, well, uh, to be honest, I had no idea what video to, video idea to film, and then this comment popped up on my uh, phone. This guy, or girl, decided to basically make a video on my top five, top seven, I think it's top eight car accessories that I have got, because I've, had, I've done so many car accessory videos. If I keep going, I could be 40 and still doing car accessory videos. And out of those car accessories, these are my top ones that I would recommend to people. So yeah, basically, without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. <laughs> accessories have pulled me girls honestly the lights in here oh I'm kidding but these are my top ones that I actually use they're practical so going from least uh, rec recommended to top recommended these are my top seven so number seven we are coming in with can you guys guess this is my wireless car remote control music thing so this little device connects to your phone and you can basically play music off it you can literally watch this and then if i hit again play and i can skip the music all from like here and i've just got it like mounted right there the negatives of this one is sometimes it won't connect to your phone once you've like pressed it so it's a bit annoying and then you have to reconnect it so not the not 100 the most working thing you know what i mean the next car accessory i would recommend is 3d number plates now at, at the start i didn't see the point in having number plates 3d it's not affecting me inside the car so why would i want it on the outside of the car they're not useful at all they just kind of make the car look a bit more i don't know i forgot to mention that adding 3d number plates to your car actually does add 50 50 brake horsepower to your car like seriously this isn't even a joke anymore it adds 50 brake horsepower and obviously all the girls walk past it and like oof. pretty much a waste of money if you already have number plates here are my old number plates as you guys can see it's literally a walk-in advertisement for the company that i basically bought it from if you don't want that or you don't want the gb sign 3d number plates you can go or even you can get 2d number plates but just like get rid of the plates i guess and also why would you not want like Another 50 brake horsepower on your car. The next car accessory is these wind deflectors. These are fucking lit. For me, for me. Oh! I'm back again because this guy does not know how to explain what they're, they're for, right? I basically use wind deflectors for myself pretty much just for the looks. They look lit. Like, come on. They just make the window kind of like look, look a bit more cool i guess i don't know if it's cool adds on another like two horsepower so what they are really used for according to this website just looked at this website uh van demon shout out benefits of wind deflectors it reduces wind and noise when um you're traveling at fast fast speeds with the window a bit open reduces glare if you if you have your window open just so that the wind deflector is covering it it deflects rain from getting inside the car basically and it gives the inside of the car like this look which is i love it it looks nice when it's when i'm like filming uh driving me some stuff the bad thing about this wind deflector is sometimes you'll put the window up and it won't close it will open again it when you like trying to lock the windows from the outside of the car um it's kind of annoying let me let me see if i can actually try it actually and then let's try and lock it Oh, it actually worked. Normally, it doesn't work. Oh, I've locked myself out. Normally, it doesn't do that and it like uh, opens again, like I said. But um, the next car accessory that I would um, recommend is the phone holder. Now, I personally have this little magnetic one. It is nice because it doesn't wrap around your phone and like show. You put a magnet on the back of your phone here. Ignore my pineapple pop socket. But it, and then you attach that magnet to the thing to the magnet on the holder and obviously you can tilt it you can tilt it up and down you can rotate it it's the only thing is i wish it was a little bit higher and it doesn't stick to like the plastic up on the dash so i need to get another one that can actually stick up here because when you're using sat navs it's it's annoying because you're obviously looking that way then you have to go like this next car accessory is something that's really boring it's a boring car accessory but it's something that you kind of it's sick 
because it allows you to power everything. And that is my car charger. It's got three cigarette lighters and four USBs. I currently have my dash cam in there and I have my lights in there. But yeah, in the back of my car, in the pocket, I have an emergency USB. When my phone is like pretty much dying, I just plug it into my car charger and boom. And that is what that is for. You can charge your phone, charge your dash cam. The next one is the Bluetooth AUX. This thing, it is the Electrowave um, Bluetooth AUX. So what this is, it is a Bluetooth transmitter which goes into your AUX. So you connect to it on Bluetooth from your phone to this, and then it will play the music through the AUX into the car, which means there's no cables. The only bad thing about actually having this AUX thing is every time you obviously get in the car, you have to turn it on and you have to hold it for like five seconds. Before you get out of the car, you have to turn it off, which means you have to hold it for five seconds. It does auto turn off, but if I'm in my house, it will actually stay connected to Bluetooth on my phone. Now the last car accessory that I'd recommend is a dash cam. Now I actually have a dash cam which if you can see right here it films both out the front and the back. That's the one that I'd recommend because obviously if you get if you get rear-ended you got evidence of it and obviously if anything funny happens if anything serious happens you've got it all on tape like I filmed I filmed BMWs being left and just rolling into the car park. Oh my god it He's out of the car. How? What's he doing? Wait, let me go see. A van almost killing us. <laughs> and obviously, like I said, again, with every dash cam, if you cause the accident, swallow the SD card. So yeah, guys, unfortunately, that is all of the foot. This That is all of the car accessories I have for today. They're all the things that I'd recommend. And obviously, we've got the lights. We've got st stuff like that, but... That's pretty much it. The lights are actually the only ones that I that are in my car that I wouldn't recommend, to be fair. Purely just because in a day, you can't have them on. In the winter, they're so nice to have. They light up your car. And yeah, unfortunately, guys, that is the end of today's video. If you have got to the end of this video, then comment one, two, three, four. And I'll subscribe to the first four people who do that. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this sit-down talk video. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. Like, in my next video. What? No, I'm uncontrollable.